Recently, an application called Filter Key Setter has become quite popular for its ability to lower input delay, specifically with movement and editing. It apparently does this via making the represses on your keyboard way faster than the default. But to showcase an example of how this affects your key represses, if I just go in Notepad here and press A then hold down the button, you can see if I do that again there's an initial little delay right there, so if you press the key down then hold it, you see that little delay that I'm talking about right there? If you edit your filter key settings, you can essentially eliminate that delay, which people are saying can make your movement feel way more responsive and also your editing feel way more responsive as well. But in my honest opinion, after trying this out, I do feel like it's a placebo effect, but your experience might be way different to mine. So if you wanna change your filter key settings right now, there's actually two different methods, which by the way, I do believe are allowed as essentially we are just editing the default filter key settings which are in windows and don't relate to epic games or fortnite the game itself but please do this at your own risk method one is manually editing the filter key settings in windows in the registry editor once inside here you just need to go to this location on screen where you can change the values here's some example settings you can use on screen but remember the default ones if you want to revert back and method two is using the filter key setter program just simply google the application and you should see the geekhack org first link but yeah when it comes to downloading it there's two options there's the 1.01 which is the most popular one or you can get the 1.0.2 which allows a little like test feature which is quite handy now you may be asking is this safe and i would say probably yes as it's been downloaded a bunch of times it's also been around for like 10 years and i'm pretty sure the application is open source so people would have checked by now whichever one you do end up downloading though just simply right click on it and then click extract all to undo zip it. It'll then allow you to open up the application. Then we can customize the settings. Now for ignore under, a lot of people have this on 0ms. For repeat delay, I've seen a lot of people use 130ms to 150ms. And then for repeat delay, I've seen a lot of people use either 10ms or 20ms. I've also seen some people tick the flags on, but a lot of people seem to be leaving it unchecked. And then I've seen mostly everyone keep available ticked. Then if you're happy with them settings, which by the way, guys, if you've got any great settings, feel free to comment them below. But once you've actually configured them, you can literally go apply and then try them out. However, if you do want to revert back and delete the app in itself, all you have to do is make sure that save to registry box is ticked, then click load settings default, and then simply click apply and everything will be set back to default. From there, you can press control alt delete on your desktop, open up the task manager, then find the filter key settings application right click on it go onto open file location then after closing down the application you can press shift and delete at the same time then you can permanently delete the file but that right there is how you customize the filter keys within windows to make both your movement and editing feel way more responsive in my opinion it didn't change anything significant but that's not to say it won't on your pc so i thought i'd do a tutorial anyway since it's quite a popular thing to do right now in fortnite if a video did help out though feel free to drop a like on it and subscribe to the channel. Also feel free to check out any of my other videos on screen right now.